good to see everybody here today. Uh, thank you for being here. What a great day. I mean, another beautiful day. There's a lot of great things happening right now around UNM and UNM athletics. And today is another great example of a Lobo supporting Lobos. We're here today to recognize Megan and form, one of our former football players here, Jared, for the tremendous generosity towards the UNM football program and UNM athletics. The St. Albans have committed a gift of 350000 for football and to the, the future of our weight room facility that's going over here that we've talked about pre previously. The connection to UNM is strong for Jared and Megan. Jared is a former football player, as I've mentioned earlier, has always had, has, from our experience, my, my getting to know him, he's always been a proud Lobo, has enjoyed showing his passion for all the sports. But what truly defines the St. Albans and from what I've gotten to know and what I've gotten to, to really understand is, is their heart. They're committed, they're passionate about giving back and making a difference to the lives of many in their community, in the world, as they're a part of the One Love Ethiopia, a nonprofit organization that they help establish with some good friends, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, they've basically helps children and the communities of Ethiopia learn, grow, and most of all, succeed. And now they're giving back to UNM. I look forward to continuing our relationship and bringing us even closer and helping us continue to build on the support of UNM Athletics. We are truly grateful for Megan and Jared for their gift, but most of all for their leadership that will help us support our student athletes, not just to be champions athletically, but champions in life. So with that, we're gonna show a brief video. Now I'm gonna have Coach come up here and speak. I talk about all the time, if we wanna be who we talk about, it's gonna take everybody. It's the people you're gonna be around, the people that are invested in you, and how hard you're gonna work, okay? Well, Jared said, oh, come on up here, Jared. Coach Paulson, who was our strength coach at the time, had a big impact on Jared's life, huge. Well, Jared, he wants you guys to be successful. He wants to be one, he's protecting, not only is he from the past, but he's protecting the future of global football. He has gifted to you guys $350,000 to help this program. I came from a small town in Colorado, Greeley, Colorado. I had never been really to a bigger city outside of Denver. And I was embraced immediately by this community. For a kid from a small town who was so nervous, made me feel like I was part of a family, and that never changed, creating that true brotherhood that I think is, is Coach Gonzalez is bringing back right now. I think it's important to remember how you got where you are. Megan and I uh, sat down, and, and she knows what a huge role this football program played in my life. She knows that I don't believe I would be where I am without this program and the coaches and the players that were around. So it's important to me and, and my family specifically that we recognize the people and the organizations that helped us get where we are, where we're able to do this. And that's why we made our decision to, to support UNM and this football program. What this team can be, if given those resources, it, it can be a top program. And I think this gift, and I think what I'm hoping, you know, it spurs on to other alumni and other, other players and, and people in the community. I think that this team's gonna get the facility it deserves, it can be a championship team because that toughness will come from the staff. The people that are here, they aren't going to allow it to not be successful. New Mexico is going to be back on top. Being a Lobo is having thousands of brothers that have been through and have, have blood and sweat and cried on the same field that you did. When you leave this program, you should feel the brotherhood with everybody who's been here before. That was awesome. What a, what a great day to be a Lobo, uh, as is every day. Um, I talk about it all the time, and I talked about it in that video. The, the, obviously, this program is very special to me, very important. Protecting the past, the present, and the future of Lobo football, um, it means everything. I mean, if you go all the way back to the 1920s when we played at Zimmerman Field, where Zimmerman Library is, and then they move over to Johnson Field, and in 1960, we open up University Stadium. And you look at what we have now, I mean, we opened that end zone in 2001 from people that wanted to be involved, okay? Uh, I, was, I, I had the pleasure of being a teammate with Jared as well as a, a graduate assistant coach before he was done. 
Uh, so I have, I have a couple of different relations with them. I mean, we were buddies and we hung out and then I had to go turn them in for not going to class, which Jared never had a problem doing. Uh, the, the present Lobos that we have here are very appreciative for everybody that has come before them. Uh, I mean, Coach Long, our defense coordinator, who is one of the greatest quarterbacks to ever play here until he coached the next wing in, winning as quarterback. Um, he was the head coach here when Jared was a player. Coach Long has given back to our program. It takes everybody uh, stepping up with a gift like this. So, so basically what I want to use this opportunity as, I'm calling out all my former teammates, former players, um, maybe that I didn't play with that came before me. You have an opportunity to add on to protect the future of Lobo football. The future of Lobo football is going to be very special. Um, I'm a big believer that New Mexico is an unbe unbelievable place. And we are New Mexico. Our university is New Mexico. And what Jared and Megan are doing for our program, it doesn't in just impact our program and the current players now. It impacts the future of Lobo football. Uh, what you're going to see out here in the coming year um, is something that Eddie's been working on for a long time. A great vision. I'm very thankful to be a part of it to be able to put our stamp on it. And if you go back through the, the history and the tradition of when they do things around here, great things happen. In 1960, we opened University Stadium and we went a conference championship in 61, 62, and 64. In 1997, or in 1994, excuse me, we opened the Toe Diem building. And in 1997, we're in the WAC conference championship game and in the first bowl game since 1946. Coach Long with, with uh, Governor Richardson got the indoor built uh, for our football team. And in 2007, we beat a nationally ranked Nevada team 23-0 in our stadium in the second annual New Mexico Bowl. So I'm just trying to prelude this up. Jared's putting the, uh, putting the, the topping on it, and we're going to win our fifth conference championship right here in University Stadium. And I hope it's here in University Stadium because it'll be the biggest party we've had around here in a long time for football since 1964. So I'm calling, I'm calling all out, all my old teammates, any former Lobo or anybody that can help, if you can afford it, if you can do it, step on up. Be a part of something special. Be a Lobo for life and join us. We're, 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 we're setting the stage for a big train ride and a big long party. And I'm really proud to be associated with the people that I am to make this happen with Eddie and David and President Stokes. And then we've got former alumni like Jared and Megan here that are willing to do it. I say it all the time, it's gonna take everybody. They're doing their part. So come and join us. Thank you. Thank you to your family uh, for everything you've done and, and for your continued support and we're gonna make you proud. I promise, thank you. That's not really fair to have to follow Danny. Uh, I'm gonna keep this short. Uh, we feel so blessed to have this opportunity to give back to the university and to the city. Um, there, as I mentioned, there's no doubt that without the lessons I learned from Coach Long, Coach Francione, and my teammates, um, we wouldn't be in a position where we can give back. Uh, and I know that's the same for probably every teammate I had while I was here. Uh, and I'm gonna echo what Coach Gonzalez said. We have a responsibility to give back to this university, to give back to this city. So I'm gonna challenge my teammates as well. Uh, the ones that I haven't already reached out to, I'm, gonna, I'm going to. It, it is a privilege to be a football player here. It is a privilege to be a student here. Uh, and it's time that, that we paid that back in a small part. And that's just what Megan and I are trying to do right now is just pay a small part back. Uh, and I look forward to a very long relationship and continuing to, to make this a top program that I know it can be. So thank you all very much.